click subscribe for update video every day. Microsoft's Surface Book is starting to show its age. Redmond has been busily producing a new Surface Laptop, an updated Surface Pro, and the Surface Studio, but no sign of any more updates to the impressively high-end 2-in-1 book. A new keyboard last year helped bump the battery and graphical performance. But there's no still Surface Book 2. The original Surface Book and were the debut systems for Intel 6th generation CPUs. In the upper half of the Surface Book with performance base is effectively the same as the model. We reviewed the first time around, the original standard Surface Book, which is still available and is not being discontinued, starts at $1.500. That buys you a Core i5 processor with 8GB of RAM and a 128GB solid-state drive. Opting for the Surface Book with performance base gets you a GTX 965M and a 60Wh battery. That's in addition to the 18Wh battery in the tablet. Again, the tablet portion, which contains the display, memory, hard drive, and processor, remains the same. The models that sell with the new performance base start at $2.400 and reach $3. 200 with all the bells and whistles. While Microsoft has not ruled out selling the performance base as an upgrade to previous Surface Book buyers, it's not available on its own yet. The Surface Book with performance base now has a true competitor in the form of the U which features a GTX 950M and speedy CPU. Is the Surface Book's neglect a sign of a change in tactic at Microsoft? or a case of not fixing something that isn't broken. The Surface Book sets itself apart with its dynamic fulcrum hinge, which makes it possible to detach the display to use as a tablet. It folds into a rounded edge, just like the spine of a novel, using a mechanism that's similar to a metal watch band. As it curls, it leaves a quarter-inch gap between the screen and keyboard at the hinge when closed. It's an odd look and it means loose items can wedge between the screen and keys to pose a scratch hazard. But the strange hinge has a purpose. It lets Microsoft make the keyboard dock lighter, with the hinge acting as stability for the heavier tablet. It also helps the screen sit a little further away from the user in 